and is here to share his testimony with us. Thank you. But then praise the Lord. If you are happy this night, praise the Lord. My name is Bro Okoy Divine Omini. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I'm from Deeper Life, Portacot, River State, Nigeria. I want to really thank God for this program. Last night, I sat at the choir seats. While I sat over there, I discovered I was having severe pain by the right side of my waist. At first, I thought it was due to the place I was sitting there. So I had to adjust the chair to make sure that I'm able to get myself. But I discovered the pain persisted. But I kept on believing God. When the servant of God came up, I died in the Lord, and he led the prayer, he led the message, and also prayed for us. I claimed it, I believed it, although it didn't go immediately, so I was just jubilating and praising God. I even worked with it. So when I got home, I even told my mom about it. But to God be the glory, I slept, I woke up the following morning, been today, until now, that pain, I no longer feel it again. May the Lord be glorified. Amen. The next testifier, please. <laughs> I have with me here Sister Daniela. She has been having severe chest pain for the past two months and I really disturb her a lot. And she's here this night to share her testimony. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Daniela Oyene. I want to thank God for healing me from chest pain for the past two months now. I really want to thank God for everything. During the youth work that we went for, I could not able to talk much more louder if I say something now, they'll say, eh, what did you just, please repeat what you said. Like, if I talk much, it will pay me as if there is a knife to choke me on my chest. But at the last amen of this program, God healed me from a chest pain. Praise the Lord. She's healed. We now listen to online testifier. Great testimonies, great joy online. And we begin with this one coming to us from Ejibo. You heard when the man of God mentioned that every bone that is disjointed will be joined miraculously tonight. He prayed that prayer tonight. And Charles Ibe, the picture you see on your screen right now from Ejibo, testified that his left joint was he had problem with that and that could not allow him to walk as you can see miraculously he is now turning and the bones have joined he's able to bend and everything is now okay instantaneous miracle and i tell you that the power for this present hour is going everywhere and we take you now to benin city where we have two wonderful testimonies of what god did there benin city coming now live live Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ibe Ruth from Edo State, Benin City. I want to testify for the goodness of God in my life. Over the years since childhood, I've been having excessive cold. And it was during the period of January Global Crusade held at Ibadan. That week, I went to the hospital to confirm for tests. They said I narrowly escaped asthma and that I have system allergy that resulted to the excessive cold. Every time, sometimes, I have failure in breathing. But on that crusade ground, rain fell that day, and the cold was just too much. I could not breathe. I was gasping for air to breathe. But it just happened that it was around GS prayer. And then after the prayer, I just felt a relief in my chest. I was having this chest pain. I could not breathe. But I had to feel that relief in my chest, and that was all. Since then, I've not been having that cold again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Second testifier now. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Sister Faith Oko. I'm born again. 
I God has been doing marvelous things in my life, but this was a spectacular one in my life. Um, during the December um, crusade at that, that was held at Lagos, miracle explosion. The um, crusade started on the 22nd, on 21st, which was Tuesday. I went somewhere I was not able to attend. Then the Wednesday, before then, I was having severe pain. Pain all over my body, from my head to my toe. I can't raise my head, hand, I can't move. At night, if I'm sleeping, I can't even turn. And my husband was like, what kind of pain is this? So during that crusade, immediately I entered the church, I sat at the back because I was a bit late. So as the man of God was preaching, after the preaching, he started praying. Immediately after the prayer, the last amen. I wasn't even specified, specific on the um, pain because I was like, I will go to the hospital. But the, immediately after the last amen, I felt the pain lifted off my body. I was so light. I was so free. I was just like a baby. No pain, no more. Praise the Lord. And we have other testimonies coming from YouTube and the GS Facebook page. We we'll take this from Killer Blessing from the GS official Facebook page, who says that he's been healed from a stomach ache because before now the stomach ache troubled him so much he could not even walk. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, he felt the pain disappear and has been walking ever since. He is completely free. Chidima on YouTube also testified of breast pain that could have led to breast cancer. That sharp pain disappeared after the final amen tonight. Raymond Faith says from YouTube that he's had this hip pain for some time now and it's been so troubling. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, he felt relieved and the pain is gone. A gentleman on Facebook calls himself Youngest Pekin said he had migraine headache, but after the prayer of the man of God, he trusted God and decided that he would not take drugs again. That happened last night. He confirmed that tonight his miracle was perfected as the migraine is absolutely gone. From the GS official Facebook page, I bring you this one from Yetunde Ajibado who says that she's been having weakness and malaria. And um, after the prayer of the man of God tonight, she noticed the symptoms all gone. And now she is free. God's gift Williams had been on oxygen and had been in a very bad situation. He wrote this to us on YouTube. That after the prayer of the man of God last night, the oxygen was taken off. He could sleep well and breathe well. The media crew will follow up on this testimony and bring you details. This is coming from Zach Momo from the GS official Facebook page. This person has been having multiple troubles in the body, talking about headache, stomach pain, hotness of the body. But no matter their number, at the final amen, tonight everything vanished and now he is free. And we have this one that wrote, earlier last month, I felt a growth on my chest. It was painful. I went to see my doctor. He said it was maggot. He said I have a cut open. And that was because of the issues that had happened previously. But he said after the prayer of the man of God, the pain completely gone and the chest sealed by the power of God. This came from Emo State. We praise the Lord. From the GS official Facebook page, Emmanuel Shotunde wrote, it says that before now he's been having a serious pain, ceaseless pain in his private parts. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, he felt a different sensation right there. He tried to do all he used to do that brought him pain before, and right now, the pain is completely gone. And just before we return to the state of Asia, this one is a testimony of freedom from bondage of sin. Many people on YouTube tonight testified of freedom from sin, giving their lives to Jesus Christ. Linda Owusu wrote on YouTube, Thank God I am finally delivered. I am free from sin and the bondage of sin. Thank you, Jesus. Is back to the state of Asia. Let's listen to the next person. Wabesi. She was diagnosed of hypertension five years ago. After the prayer of man of God, she received a healing. Can go ahead and just testify. Praise the Lord. 
Ekerem Chineke. Nihama Chineke Merem. Mbo Dabu Pasakumui. We are crusades in Karaba. Ma, yo, uh, Opta, in the Jahu, on Huzo. I know there is such a naked town. I don't care. A Batamaka, you go out one soggy, name, you go out one name. Atom, can I eat she and name so? Atom, I go and I have a good name. Atom, all your sinishing poor, now has Jesus Christ. Mbon Kushin, Chinak Nam Azabuku. You go as you go, I'm on your mother. I want you go as you go. A chicke, Chinak, Matuka, Mbode, Pasakuni after. I go to you. You have to be there. I na abu, I na abu. Give them a hammer. A hammer at the first. Hey, God, touch me, you. Hey, chikwe. God, I pray to them to talk to you. God, touch me. Oku ma mwe mwe. Inya mege mno ko. Mege mwe mwe tu. Praise the Lord. God is wonderful. God. Praise the Lord. Our Dear mommy, who gave this testimony, has uh, a couple of testimonies from high blood pressure to what was like stroke. And she couldn't use her body. So many health challenges. But as the man of God prayed, our father in the Lord, she claimed the prayer and the Lord visited her. Earlier on, it was a high blood pressure that disappeared. But last night, she discovered that her leg that was very painful and she couldn't use it. Now she can use her leg and she can walk properly. Can you demonstrate it, Ma? Can you just show them? Praise the Lord. So we can see what the Lord has done for her. You can see it. The Lord has done it. The next person, please. Here with me is thank God and bad. Pia Stella, she presented here today with UTI, urinary tract infection, for the past five months. After the prayer of Mother God tonight, she received a healing. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Pia Stella from Gokana region, Bodo District. For five months now, I was having infection, toilet infection. I could not know that that was toilet infection. My body was crashing me. My private part always scratch me. I cannot stay one minute without scratching my body, my private part. But after the prayer of the man of God last night, I did not feel anything. All the body that was inside my private part, I did not see it again. I see now. I did not scratch my body throughout today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's gone forever. The next testifier. Huh? Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Bright Nana. By the grace of God, I am saved. I am from Rumeleze Group, Rumeleze District, Woji Group of Church, River State, Nigeria. My testimony is on divine favor and healing. During the child's of blessing, I came here, I was pregnant. Before now, I had two beautiful girls. I desired to have a male child. So during the testimony time, a lady came. She was testifying that God gave her four girls and she desired a baby boy. And God grant her her heart desire. So I keyed into that testimony. And when I went for scan, the result showed that I have a male child. And I gave birth to my wonderful baby boy. Secondly, during the child's of blessing, I was coming here carrying my neighbors and some people around me within the neighborhood. My car 
is very well with it. But after the showers of blessing, after nine days, God favored me with a brand new car. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The second one is during this Bayasa crusade. I was on the prayer squad and we go to church around three, closing around nine. It wasn't easy, but God saw me through. My intention was to make heaven. I never desired another car. But after the crusade, on Thursday, coming back from church, lo and behold, my husband favored me with another brand new car. Then told me, I have those pains in my heart. Whenever someone's wrong me, I feel pain in my heart because I can't express it. I just overlook. And this has been happening for some time. As at yesterday, I came here, I prayed, and God healed me. I've come to give God all the glory. God bless you. Material blessing, spiritual blessing, oral blessing for you. Here with me is Brother Thank God Amadi. He came here this night with a three week history of unknown sudden sickness. But after the prayer of Mother God tonight, he received his healing. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Brother Thank God Amadi. I'm from River State here. I worship at Chequadi Street. It was on the 29th of last month at my working place where I work in Lake Garden Estate around 2 a.m. in the morning. When I wake up in, the, in that time, I found out that my hand everywhere was folding. I couldn't breathe well again. I get to call my colleagues. When I called there, I told them that, see oh, what I'm passing through now. They called to call the Mopos that were around. They took a vehicle, they rushed me down to UPTH. When I get there, along the way, I couldn't breathe again. They get to put me in oxygen. I was breathing in oxygen close to a day. After some time, several doctors that came to attend to me, they took samples, they took my blood, they run several tests. The result that came out, they couldn't find out anything that was wrong with me, but I was dying. Along the way, my auntie works in that place. When she came, she get to find a place where they would put me on bed because I was on wheelchair throughout the day, in all staging and also in drip. So after some time, my elder sister came to the hospital. She saw my condition. She said, no that they have to discharge me, that this is not hospital something. After two weeks, when I came back, I came to this crusade. On my way coming, I found it difficult because I could not bend down because of the severe headache I was having. I get to go to welfare. When I went to welfare, they said I should wait because of the population that was in that place. I see my condition that, no, this is getting worse. I get to come to prayer team where they were having prayer. They say it's uh, Bible study time. I get to come back after Bible study. When I came back later, the pastor that attended to me he asked me that, am I born again? I say I was born again, but along the way, I passed the day. So he led me to Christ. Along the way that he led me to Christ, when he mentioned the name of Jesus, I fell on the ground, started rolling, screaming, when the man prayer finished, it was as if I got myself for that moment. I went back to where my brother is from. I told him that I need to shower. He gave me something to sh uh, where to shower. After showering, I found it that the headache that was severe, I see I'm running mad because I was shedding tears like children. When he now told me this evening that I should come to this place, I told God that immediately GS came, 
come out on the stage that God, once he speaks, let there be calmness on my brain. And when Jesus came out, he said that, he gave us some testimonies. I believe that God, this testimony, tonight I have my own testimony. After the prayer of the man of God this night, every severe headache that I was having, everything vanished away after his prayer in Jesus' name. I thank God who did it for me because I believe and God saw me through. Every madness has gone because I, the way I was sharing tears today, as if I'm a kid, but God has seen me through. I thank God for what he has done through Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyu. Praise the Lord. God did many things for him, salvation, healing, and all. Keep your salvation experience. Don't go back to sin. God bless you. Elder Godwin Jeremiah. She had syncopal attack, fainting attack, one year ago, with urinary incontinence, frequent passing of urine, and is here to share testimony. Church, praise the Lord. I want to thank my God for what the Lord has done to me this night through Pastor Kumuye. After this, uh, I'm, I'm, I am saved by the grace of God. I'm from Location Church, Umwebele. That is where I am. So after the last prayer that I got my healing, I am a driver. I was coming back from work. I fell down. People who know me took me to my house. Since that very day, I've been unity. I pass unit, uh, unit. I pass unit, unity six times in a night. So they put prayer for me. They suggested that it is a diabetic. They took me to doctor doctor say he doesn't see something like diabetes. They say whether well, uh, not sugar. They say no sugar. Since then, I could not be able to work out. But one thing is I manage every day, every time that we have this thing. We have program in the church. I manage to go. Even the church will be paying for me. In Umwebele. So after the last prayer tonight, I believe what the man said. After the last prayer, they say I should examine myself and know. I begin to check as I check myself. I discover that I can even jump. And now I can walk by you myself. Are he is free. I'm free. Praise the Lord. Please, the rest of us, they give you number. Tomorrow you give your testimony. Let's turn over to online so that we can close for tonight by the grace of God. Tomorrow morning, we we'll continue with our program. Online. Online, we quickly take you to England, where COVID-19 has been subjected to the power in this hour. This testimony is coming from Chinemere Ihanacho. He was, he, he was um, in the situation of COVID-19, 
and it was confirmed that he was positive. And after the prayer of the man of God last night, he returned to test and COVID-19 is gone. Praise the Lord. I will take this from Linus Yakubu from, from YouTube who says that he's been healed from serious tooth pain. After the prayer of the man of God last night, he's been checking until this moment. The pain is gone and gone for good. In the United Kingdom, a Korohan wrote, I woke up with headache. But after the prayer of the man of God last night, instantaneously, that headache stopped. Praise the Lord. Sister Pletora had a lump on the right side of her breast since she was 10. But yesterday, after the prayer of the man of God, something about her final element, very, very efficient. She says she got her healing, and from then till now, the pain is gone, the lump is gone, and she is completely free. We now return to the state of Asia. Let's rise up to praise the name of the Lord for his glorious visitation. 